to show you how to transfer files such as videos and photos directly from your Moto G Power, the 2022 model, directly to your Apple computer, MacBook, or iMac via the charging cable and not using iTunes. Now the first thing I want to mention is the charging cable that comes with your Moto is a USB-A to USB-C. Okay, now the thing is if you don't have a USB-A on your um, Apple computer or maybe it's not working and you have a USB-C, you can always use one of these cables too, a USB-C to a USB-C, okay? So let's go ahead and transfer some photos and videos. Let me go ahead and plug the USB into my USB port into my MacBook here. Next thing to note too is the way I do it to make the transfer always easy for me without using iTunes or anything, I use this little, this little green guy down here, this Android bot, it's an Android file transfer. It's a free download. Download, install it, and every time you connect your Moto, you can go ahead and transfer directly onto the desktop or right onto the hard drive. So go ahead and download that. I'll put a link below where you can get it, but it's right here, Android file transfer for um, Mac computers. You can go ahead and download it right there. Again, it, it is free. So now, I mean, I already have that installed, so let me just go ahead and plug my phone in now. And let me go ahead and sign in here okay now once you sign in now first thing th this is going to pop up don't worry about it but you have to go to your phone first we have to slide down notifications and then at the very bottom you should see down here it says Android system charging this device via USB okay we need to tap this down arrow and then under underneath it it says charging this device via USB tap for more options okay so we want to tap on this right there and you can say by default they put on no data transfer, okay? So that's not going to work for us. What we got to do is go up here. We can tap on file transfer. So let's tap on file transfer right there. And now let's leave it just like that. And now let's go back to my MacBook here. And what I'm going to do is it's going to go ahead and close. I'm just going to okay this. It's going to close it, no problem. Let me just go open it back up, this little Android file transfer guy at the very bottom. Let's go ahead and open that up. And then from here what I want to do is I want to these are all the folders in my Moto, okay? I want to go to DCIM, DCIM folder. I'm going to double click on that. And this is where all your photos and videos are, okay? So I'm going to double click on the camera folder. And you can see I have some photos and videos in here. I know that they are photos. If it has a JPG extension, a JPEG extension, I know if it's a video, it has an MP4 video extension, okay? So from here, I can go ahead and drag and drop right to my desktop. But what I typically do is I'll go ahead and make a new folder up here and I'll just call it Moto, and then I'll drag and drop whatever I want. So let me just copy everything, all my photos and videos I have on this phone. I'm going to drag and drop it into that new folder I called Moto. Go ahead and let it transfer, let it copy. Okay, it's done. So I can go ahead and disconnect my phone, and now all my videos and photos should be in that folder right there. There you go. And now I can go ahead and email these or edit these or whatnot. Right? Pretty simple. Questions or issues, comment below. Good luck.